Let's say that you own a shoe store in Santa Clara, California. It's a little bit of information you can provide to see how your business sizes up against your competitors. Let's enter in your revenue, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We just super crunched millions of data points to compare your shoe store to other shoe stores. And you can see that your business makes less than the typical shoe store in your city, county, metro, state, or the nation. Down below, you can see a heat map. In red are the areas that have the highest average business annual revenue, and in yellow are areas that there's less. Santa Clara is in the center, and you can see that there are neighborhoods around Santa Clara that have higher revenue. These may be places that you want to target your next advertising campaign or open up a future store. On the right, we've added considerations and resources to help your business. Now let's enter in some additional information, such as the year you started. Let's say it was in 1999. We've just plotted the opening of shoe stores across the entire country. Maybe you're not interested in national or state data, but you can see at a local level that there's a trend where more shoe stores are opening. Now how about salary? and say that you pay your typical employee $25,000. Is that more or less than the typical shoe store? Well, in this case, it's more. The typical shoe store in your county pays about $19,000 a year. And the map shows this information, and the highest salaries are in places like Marin and San Francisco. Now let's enter in the number of employees you have. Let's say it's seven. And that's pretty typical for most shoe stores is as you enter in information, we're able to provide you additional data without you entering anything. In this case, we're showing cost effectiveness, which is a measure of how much output you get relative to how much you're spending. Or here, revenue per capita. Right now, we're looking at revenue per capita at the local level, at the neighborhood level. Now we're zooming out to see the region, the state, and even the nation. Here we're showing local turnover for shoe stores. So you have to estimate that about 14% of your employees you're going to have to retrain due to losses. Now let's enter in healthcare. Let's assume you spend $4,500 per employee on healthcare. We can tell you that you pay $191 more for healthcare than typical businesses of your size and similar industries. Or we can put in workers' compensation rates. By just entering this information, we can see a summary dashboard of how your business sizes up to other shoe stores. Using the gauges, you can see red tends to be less good, whereas green tends to be better. So with just a few clicks, you can get information sizing up your business.